what is up so just before we start off I know this is a little late but I do have an explanation um, me children's nursery had to close because there were COVID cases so that's obviously something I've been going by um, and also I have not been feeling too great myself for the past couple of days anyway but it is only just like a, a cold kind of thing which you'll probably hear throughout this video however in today's episode of Full Throttle, we are going over the Vapid Slam Truck, which came out um, last week. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. Last week, uh, last Thursday, on GT Online. And we're going to be going through the usual details. The Vapid Slam Truck is a utility vehicle <coughs> featured in GT Online that will be added to the game as part of the 1.52 Kyo Perico Heist update. To get the slam truck, you can purchase it from Southern San Andreas um, Super Autos for $1.3 million and it can be stored in any personal vehicle garage and can also be customised at LSC. Vehicle name is slam truck, the vehicle class is utilities. Uh, sell price, obviously you can only sell it if you buy it. Um, sell price once you've purchased it, if you sell it straight after without any modifications, you will get $786,000. And the top speed in the game files is 77.67 miles an hour or 125 kilometers an hour. It is two seated, it is rear wheel drive, and is four gears. Um, <coughs> now, um, I did do obviously I mean right no game de I'm sorry like I said I'm not feeling very well game details so like in-game details um, this vehicle actually does have hydraulics it does not actually say that but yes it has hydraulics um, yes you can kind of put vehicles on the back of it however they do not stay on <coughs> um, why they made a vehicle specifically designed to transport vehicles they even put a hook and everything on there to hold them on and it doesn't I'm not too sure why there are the picture from the Rockstar Newswire does show it with a um, what's it called with a bike jumping over it however I did have this um, loading screen <coughs> come up literally saying is it a, I think because I haven't I'm not reading it straight off the screen I think is it a ramp no something something uh, it basically says something about hauling vehicles now Rockstar you can't have a description of a vehicle saying that it hauls vehicles when this vehicle does not haul vehicles yes you can put vehicles on there yes they will stay on but if you were playing on your own put a car on it it will slide off Maybe if you've got someone in the car holding the handbrake or something, it might be alright. But that's not the point of a vehicle that can be transported. The point is that you put a car on the back, you don't have to sit in that car to keep it on. But whatever. <coughs> Performance wise. Um, no. Okay. Just, it's not a racer. You ain't winning any races in this thing. Um,. I did take it around the test track just to have a look to see and it just did appallingly and I'll show you that now.
also this thing is not going to be used as a racer. Straight line speed, it's not too bad. But, eh. Um, customizations, it's pretty good on the customization part. You've got quite a few. You've got pretty decent liveries as well. You've got some branded ones there. You've even got some that match um, existing liveries that are on some cars. So you could have like a little duo with a with the transport vehicle, even though it doesn't transport, <coughs> um, and the vehicle that's going with it with the same livery, so it's like a racing team kind of thing. But um, but from my personal experience, is it worth 1.3? No, it's not worth 1.3 mil. Mainly, literally, just because you cannot put vehicles on the back and keep them there. If they had a thing where you put the vehicle on the back, you hold right on the D-pad, and it locks it in. Perfect. Like you hold right on the D-pad and it locks in and it automatically kicks you out of the car that would be fine and then to unlock it you just get in the car in the bag and it just rolls off the side that would be fine but it doesn't do that so is it worth 1.3 not really it's fun to drive around in <coughs> um, I haven't used it as like a ramp which is what it could be used for. It could be just like a ramp, but I don't know. But let me know what you all thought in the comments below of what you think of this vehicle. If you have bought it already, what are your thoughts? If you're thinking of buying it, what is your worries? And I'll try to answer any of them questions, along with leaving a like on the video if you did enjoy and it was helpful in any way whatsoever, along with the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of any future updates or videos that I unleash onto the channel. So, I will see you all maybe next Thursday, Friday, depends how my day goes. For the next vehicle, which I'm guessing is going to be the um, the military one that's got the tarp over the top, it's kind of like a transport. I'm waiting for the, you know, the actual military vehicle, like the Jeep Hummy, Hummer thing. But we'll just have to wait and see. I will see you all in the next one.